Hello everybody, I'm Pandemonium and welcome back to Middle-Earth Shadow of Mordor. Now, I have not played this game in quite a while because I have been on a little bit of a hiatus since I've been sick and I had my wisdom teeth out and all that. I don't know why I'm wearing my, my jacket here. I'm actually going to take this off for a second. Sorry if this bothers you. Um, it's kind of kind of stuffy in here. Plus, now you can see my uh, pretty freaking cool Become an Obliviator recruit, recruiting now t-shirt you know it's a fantastic beast thing pretty sweet got that in in the loot crate but anyway we're going to hit continue our story mode here and we're going to see where we are because i don't quite remember where we are i love this lighting um it's it's not perfect you know i'm not i'm not the best when it comes to lighting equipment but it's very bright and it lights up my face evenly and i'm enjoying that i like how you can see my lamp back there it's like Halfway on the floor, but not quite on the floor. All right, so we're killing the war chiefs, right? Four war chiefs. There are four war chiefs to be killed. Let's go see what we can do. Okay. So this is a veteran war chief. This is Mog, the other twin. So this is the only one we can do right now, right? So let's let's go do it. So this guy. Oh, that's Ratbag. Okay, so we gotta go to the main mission. Let's let's go do it. Where's our main mission? There's our main mission. So we will set a, a waypoint here. Where's the nearest forge tower? Or where are we, I guess? We're there. So let's just fast travel to here because it is a little bit closer, I think. Yeah, I'm really glad that my uh, my webcam is picking this up properly. It's just it's just very nice. Um, and the lighting is basically the best I'm going to be able to get it for a while until I get some, some form of professional lighting. I also might experiment with actually having my overhead light on because that's... You know, just light up the room behind me a little bit more, and uh, I might try try and see how that looks um, like in tomorrow's video or whatever. Of course, this will be going out what Tuesday, uh, February twenty eighth. So, so the video in question will be going out on the 29th. Today is the twenty seventh. Uh, sorry if I, I didn't make that quite clear. Anyway, we're gonna be uh, looking for Mog, the other twin. Who's hanging from a. Oh, it's Ratbag. He's hanging f from ropes. What's he doing? I don't remember this part. Because I have played through the story mode before. So I'm not really. We get a reaction here. Sorry. You bastards! When I'm a war chief, these birds will feast on your guts! Yeah, and I apologize by the way, this game does have some mild language in it. It's pretty mild, but and it's very violent again. I know I've said that before, but Wow, that must be painful for the other guy. I mean and for Ratbag, but Ratbag's wearing some sort of armor, right? So And he's alright. The other guy does not seem to be alright. So I think Ratbag got out of that pretty well. I go to tell a chief that I've killed his bodyguard. He turns around, got the exact same face as the dead Megan I just killed. Which you can skip. Twins. What are the odds of Just make sure you show up to take the place of the dead war chief. Oh, um, but the war chief's not dead. I'm going to go kill him! Oh, good plan! Uh, I'll be ah. behind you. Yeah. What is he doing? He's grabbing a weapon? Yeah, that's healthy. It works. It <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> Stab someone with a knife. It works. Look at that. It works. Who who would who who knew? Kill a berserker with a ledge kill. Okay, two berserkers. Um, kill a berserker with a ledge kill. Not a problem. Unless they're like berserkers, as in from uh, Asgard. This did not work out in my favor. We're gonna go hide. We're gonna go hide. So hold on for a minute. Um, before they 
can see me, we're gonna hide behind things and actually just run. And then hide in here. Because then they can't see me. And they will go away shortly and then I can go kill these dudes. These, these ledge... Ledge kill dudes. There's two berserkers, why do I only see one? Maybe it's gonna show me one after the other. Okay, they can't see me anymore, but I don't... I don't I'm not sure if I wanna risk doing this. Because they are right there and there's one of them coming toward me. So I'll probably just kill him as he's heading this way. Um, I just don't want to raise... I just want to raise as little attention as possible I can to myself. These guys are actually walking by, so I think I'll be fine. And now I can go. I'm learn to ride a Karagor. Worked out for me okay, so... If you want to try, go for it. Found the berserkers. Can we attract one, please? Give me this guy. Hey, look at that. Come over here. Not you. This guy. Look at that, that's a ledge kill. Now, I just have to kill another one. So let's uh, let's just shoot him with an arrow in the head, please. Bam! Mago the twin has arrived. Now, let's try to run away a little bit here. Kill Mog. Okay, Mog. Whoa, he's decked. He is decked in armor, man. The pain of my twin shall echo within you. Mog the other twin. Let's uh jump down here. Um, do we know any, uh, what's our intel on him? Can I, can I check what the intel is on him? Three strengths, weaknesses, damage by combat finishers, damage by range attacks, okay. Um, okay, that's, that, that it's not gonna be too hard, I don't think. Because I am half decent at combat in this game. By half decent, I mean, like, okay. Let's kill this guy. Hop up here, and then just, just get wrecked, Mog. And he should be dead. There he goes. That was actually a pretty easy fight. Uh, and they're all scared of me now. I'm sorry if I wasn't... My commentary was not very strong during that fight. Just because I was kind of in the zone, you know? Sorry. But anyway, yeah, he's dead. I did kill him. Ratbag's really happy about it. Ratbag is now a war chief, which is kind of stupid because he's an idiot. And you can kill him later, if you want. I don't think I did in my other... Uh, another playthrough of this, but you can kill him. I also heard that the sequel to this game is has been announced, and it's Middle Earth Shadow of War, and I'm super excited for that. Sorry if I'm blocking the cutscenes. At least they're subtitles, right? So I might also turn up this game a little bit. I think I am. I'm going to, so let's... I guess I'll, I'll do it after the, uh, the cutscene ends. Sorry. Alright, so that is... We've killed one of the war chiefs, One of the four war chiefs, Um, and that is, like, pretty... Pretty, like... Once you kill these four war chiefs, you're, like... Roughly halfway through the game. Of course, like... Halfway through this, the direct storyline, you know? Mission complete. Awesome. Um... So we can't upgrade anything at the moment. Sorry about my weird... Burps that are going on. Anyway, we're going to actually... Go into our options here, and go into sound, um, dialogue, cinematic volume, we want that all the way up. Master volume will turn up a little bit. Um, now you guys should be able to hear the everything a little bit better, and I, I don't know if it was that bad, but I guess I hadn't really checked in the recordings yet, so. Yeah, um, it might be a little too loud now, let's, let's go turn that down, because the music is pretty loud. Let's apply those changes. 
now. Yeah, that seems about right, because you guys should still be able to hear me pretty well. If you, if you can't, I'll notice in the recording. Uh, I don't have any audio monitor at the moment, but that's alright. You're not gonna, you're not gonna do that. Death. Death to you. I just shot a freaking slave. Um, anyway, he's dead. And then we'll kill this guy, because why not? Cool. Um, oh, I was thinking we might be able to get so far ahead that, you know, we get a combo, uh... Wow, intel. Free intel? Wow. Um, I was thinking we could get, like, a, a combo, uh, execution on somebody. So we want intel on one of these war chiefs. Any of them at this point. Um, this guy is just... Okay, let's do it. That's Tombhorn Skin Flayer. Alright. Force Tombhorn to respond by unleashing his beasts. Alright. He's Fear Karagor's weight. Unleashing his beasts? I guess that's why he'll respond, right? Because he's afraid of them. Uh, damage by combat, combat finishers. Invulnerable to stealth and vulnerable to range. So, combat. Um, he's a Vault Breaker. That's okay. Okay. So, he's essentially just, uh... Like, what you'd think of as being a standard, pretty difficult captain. It's just like... You gotta melee him the whole time, and he's pretty hard to beat. Um, where is he? Where was that? Did I ever set him as my target? Don't think I did. We want to set as a target. Like that. Then head over to the map, and check out where the... Hey, look, there it is. Cool, and we will fast travel to the nearest forge tower, which I believe is here. Pretty awesome. Also, my lighting is, is insane. Um, I do think for a second though, I'm going to pause the game and just do a little bit of a little bit of uh this shouldn't take too long. So just a little bit of um Sorry, just a little bit of uh like color correction up here. Just because it might be a little bit too bright. Alright, so we'll crank down the gamma. Uh, maybe. I'll figure it out. It looks alright. We are going to, uh, go to this mission now. Sorry if I just got some lag on my camera. I've noticed that when I put color correction on, uh, I get a little bit more camera lag, so I wonder if there's, uh, any sort of delay going on in my microphone. In fact, I'm actually in an attempt to fix that. Just gonna go into here. Sorry if this is consuming too much time. And we are just gonna straight up remove the color correction because it's not doing too much. And, yeah, that's better. So, sorry if there was a slight audio desync there for a minute. It should be alright now. I've got food in my teeth. I just had dinner, so... It's kind of expected. Surprisingly late dinner for us, actually. Like, just finished 15 minutes ago. How about you just get dead? Like, like real dead. Like a real dead real quick. He got real dead real quick. Okay, so let's, um... Oh, that guy's gonna raise the alarm. We're not gonna let him do that. You get to die, and I'm just gonna, like, kill these guys off. So, counter there. Smack him in the face. Slice him with the sword. Counter there. Execution. Sweet. I love fighting in this game. It's so fun. This guy's gonna raise the alarm. That guy was gonna raise the alarm. There's a counter. Knock that guy over. Counter. Uh, get a, a little finisher there. It didn't quite work. We'll get an execution on that guy. Only a few more Uruks left here. There's a counter. Smack him in the back. Oh, I got like three there. Cool. So now let's go let's go do a finisher here. Because no one's here to mess with me. Then an execution. Oh, I missed it. This guy's gonna light the beacon. I better shoot him. And this guy is going to try to murder me with his shield spear powers, so we're gonna give him a quick uh ground execution. This guy is dead. <laughs> Alright, so let's make our way over there. That was pretty fun. 
those little uh, little mini brawls are always always fun. I just realize this is actually pretty far away. Oh, it's right over there. Okay, so it's not that bad. We're gonna hop over. I apologize for the fact that my brother is playing the piano, and you might be able to hear that in the background. Um, let's start this mission. Okay, so we need to... We gotta get him to respond by unleashing his beasts. Alright. Hubris comes in taming nature. Release the war chief's categories and expose his folly. Alright. Without raising the alarm. Okay. Release three categories. One. Two. Was that only one? Can I not quite get that one? That's two. That's nice. That's always nice. That was my brother throwing a uh, sheep. I, I wonder if you saw that on a webcam. I wasn't really paying attention, actually. Dude, what are you doing? Yeah, this is a fat sheep for you. Um, where are the other Karagors? I will, in a minute. Yeah, my brother's a little bit intrusive sometimes, I apologize, but it's funny. So, it's alright. And, there we go. He has arrived. Let's kill him. Where is he? I am high above in the sky. He's vulnerable to stealth, or he's invulnerable to stealth, so I actually have to hop down there, though. So, let's go, let's go find him, shall we? Tombhorn. He's, uh... He's an annoying. Fear Kagors. Oh, so I can just straight up grab him, can't I? Sweet. Forgot that he had a fear of Kagors. Let's let's just grab him. Grab you. Where are you going? Where are you going, old man? I don't think he's an old man. I mean, you never know. He's a, like an Uruk or whatever, right? So, I don't know how ages work. So we're just gonna we're gonna interrogate him and get some. Uh, some intel for the next war chief. Uh, we want to do this guy up here. Norsko the Tainted. Cool. And then he's gonna die. And that is two down. A Grav's Heal achievement unlocked. I don't know if you guys saw that. I guess you, you're not seeing that. Uh, it's it's on the Steam Overlay. I don't know what that achievement is. We'll check it out. Um, I'm on the Steam Overlay. Sorry about that. You guys can't see it. Capitalize on a War Chief's fear. Okay, so that's basically just get intel because he's feared. So that's two out of four War Chiefs killed. Um, that's pretty nice. Um, I think I'm actually going to leave this episode off here because it's been almost 20 minutes and I decided I've made lots of progress in this episode, at least as far as the story mode goes. So I think I am going to leave off this video here. So... I hope you enjoyed this video, if you've read and commented, if you really enjoyed it, help me out and subscribe, but thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.